morning today's topic is reflection and later we will deal with the definition of reflection in theoretical way but before that one should go through the reflecting surfaces which is very very important in this topic and the reflecting surface the prime example of reflecting surface is mirrors these are the mirrors which we have to deal with this one is a plane mirror this one is a example of a spherical mirror that i will tell you later so these are the mirrors now how can we make a spherical mirror first of all see this is a plain glass petri dish plate you can see the structure it is curved and some shallowness is there this portion which is curved like this is called concave portion and the one which is protruded is called a convex portion so this one is convex and this one is concave now let's deal with a spherical structure like this you can see this one is a spherical structure it is like a ball and suppose if we cut a portion of this one this one is a part of this one and if we cut if we cut this one and if we will separate it it will be called a spherical part of a spherical structure you can also see that this could be part of a spherical structure so all these are part of spherical structure suppose first we cut out of a plain glass sphere this piece and then if we wish to convert it into a mirror then either this side or this side we will paint with a protective layer of silver and that is why the process is called silvering and then a protective layer of lead oxide so here you can see a protective layer of lead oxide is quite visible some thing like that is there in all the mirrors now in this mirror you can see that it is slightly curved and this is protruded in this side and this is deep in this side so this one is concave and this one is convex and the convex portion is reflecting you can see it is reflecting so if it is reflecting then it will be a convex mirror whereas if you will look at this mirror this one is protruded outward and this one is curved inward so this one is a concave mirror now how can you distinguish between concave mirror and concave larger in this mirror so you can see the image in this case and you can compare the image in this case here you can see that image is smaller so this one is a convex mirror and here you can see the size of the pen is relatively bigger so you can see the image look at the image and look at the image so this one is convex and this one is concave so we will deal with that in later class let's deal with the different parts of a spherical structure you can see this one is a spherical structure and and this is quite smooth it is like a reflecting surface so suppose if i will make this a mirror then this will be called a convex mirror like this if this is shiny outward and non reflecting inward but suppose if it is opened like this and the inner portion is made a reflecting surface then it will be like a concave mirror and the outer layer will have protection now out of this structure this part whether it is convex or concave the part which is on the center of this mirror 
like this like this center of the mirror or the center of the mirror this is called pole of the mirror this is called pole of the mirror so the pole of the mirror lies over here but treating it as a spherical structure in total the center of the sphere is somewhere over here the center of the sphere is inside the sphere the center of the sphere is inside so that center of the sphere which is like here or here just in the center of this structure so that is called center of curvature so center of the spherical structure of which mirror is a part is called center of curvature that will be like inside it is not part of the mirror this is away from mirror but the center of the mirror itself is called pole of the mirror thank you